Hi, I'm Dory, and today I am continuing the ACEO art challenge. Uh, this is something that's requiring me to draw a brand new uh, ACEO, or as I've always called them, an artist trading card. There's a brand new one every single day for the month of April. This is a challenge that was created by Black Summer Coloring. Uh, if you want more information about it, or if you just want to see what she's doing with the challenge, I'm going to have a link to her channel down below, so definitely take a look. Um, but yeah, let me talk about the artist trading card that I am creating today. <laughs> uh, as you can see, I am drawing a squirrel. Uh, this is just kind of something I wanted to um, kind of limit my color palette in, in a way. I wanted to see if I could create an artwork with a, a very, very simple color palette. So I was like, okay, let's just do browns, all the shades of browns that I can possibly have. Let's incorporate that into an artwork and see how it works. And so yeah, let me, this is me drawing a squirrel with lots and lots and lots of brown. <laughs> a very, very uh, simple color palette. Not in the end, I think it turned out pretty darn cool. So I'm actually really proud of how this came out. But it was a fun thing. It was a fun way to kind of mess around with the markers that I have and uh, kind of just, you know, experience a very muted color palette and see if I could make it interesting, so. Yeah, um, let me see. I can go ahead and tell you uh, that I kind of have a weird relationship with squirrels in my mind. <laughs> um, I actually told one of my stories about squirrels on my channel uh, when it was brand new. It's one of my very first videos I ever posted was me talking about squirrels and... Um, yeah, it's one of the, uh, it has some of the lowest views of any video I've ever posted, so I can pretty, I'm pretty sure that most of you have not seen that video. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, squirrels, uh, in, uh, in many times in my life have been, um, scary. <laughs> like, they, they've scared me for one reason or another, so, um, which is funny because they're, uh, they're actually really, really sweet little animals that, you know, they just want, you know, to, to live their lives and they're not out to get me or anything, but there was a point in my life where I felt like squirrels might be up to something <laughs> because uh, I had so many weird experiences with them. Um, but yeah, like uh, one particular instance I was driving, uh, my very first car that I ever owned was a convertible. <laughs> and um, I was driving it with the top down and I was uh, at a stoplight and a squirrel literally fell out of a tree uh, into the back seat of my car and and ran up my arm and onto my head and jumped off and I'll tell you what it scratched the living crud out of me I was bleeding everywhere because it had scratched while it was climbing up it climbed up my arm uh, up my neck and up my face and it had dug in with its little claws when it jumped off my head so my head was bleeding so I was covered in scratches and I had puncture marks on my head and um I know the squirrel was just terrified it had fallen out of a tree into a moving vehicle <laughs> because as like I said I was at a stoplight but as it when it fell I was actually starting to move um uh, because the traffic light had changed so it 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 probably was a very bad experience for the squirrel, but for me, I thought, oh god, I have rabies, I had to go to a hospital and get tested, <laughs> and I had to get these shots, um, which, by the way, rabies shots suck, I'm just gonna let you know. Um, so that was one of my experiences with squirrels, um, and I was pretty, I was pretty unhappy with the squirrel uh, in that particular instance. Um, another experience that I had with squirrels was um, where I was actually physically chased by one. Um, <laughs> and that's the story I told in my one of my first videos ever, um, where I think it's called like don't taunt squirrels or don't mess with squirrels, something like that. But uh, long story short, I was feeling extremely foolish and silly uh, after getting done with a uh, very long work shift and I was walking to my car which was parked in a fairly wooded area and I saw a squirrel sitting by the tire of my car and uh, I thought it'll be funny if I m mess with the squirrel and you know ch you know kind of mess with him a little bit so I went <laughs> and you know kind of swung my arms around and went towards the squirrel and the squirrel threw down whatever he had in his hand and was like, oh no, and went <laughs> and started chasing me full out. Like he wasn't having none of my, my foolishness at all. And I ran and I hid for hours because I thought that squirrel was going to attack me. So yeah, 
those are just two of my experiences and i have more <laughs> for some reason i just have um my life is i've experienced many squirrel attacks i don't know why i'm i've got a weird life so anyway the <laughs> That's, uh, yeah. So if you've ever had an experience with a squirrel, let me know in the comments down below. <laughs> and uh, I hope you enjoyed watching me draw this little squirrel. I, I actually really like them. I think they're adorable. I would, I, I, I would definitely be kinder to them if I saw them in the future. I wouldn't wave my arms and scream at them again. Um, but yeah, here's my little squirrel guy. I think he's adorable. And um, leave a like if you like my drawing. And uh yeah, I'll see you again next time. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you for hanging out with me. Um, talk to you soon. Bye.